Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Senior High School Subject Series na ginagawa ko dito sa aking channel na kung saan sinishare ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung mga pinag-uusapan or lessons sa mga specific Senior High School Subjects at kung ano-ano ba yung mga ginagawa or dapat i-achieve upang makapasaka to that specific Senior High School Subject. So this is STEM Lessons for Pre-Calculus. So at the end of this course, the students must be able to apply concepts and solve problems involving conic sections, system of linear equations, series and mathematical induction, circular and trigonometric functions, trigonometric identities, and polar coordinate system. So basically, yun yung pag-uusapan dito sa pre-calculus. Content and competencies. So ganun pa rin, we have content and competencies. So for content, Ito yung mga lesson or topic na pag-uusapan sa pre-calculus at yung competency naman ay yung mga kailangan yung i-achieve or kailangan yung gawin. So, first topic is all about analytic geometry. So, anong kailangan gawin? You have to illustrate the different types of conic sections. Number one, parabola, ellipse, circle, hyperbola, and degenerate cases. So, you have to illustrate the different types of conic sections. Next is, you have to define what is a Circle. So, alam natin kung ano yung circle, but with pre-calculus, we have to define it in a mat as a mathematical term. Next is, you have to determine the standard form of equation of a circle. Ano ba yung standard form of equation of a circle? So, you have to study about that in advance. Next is, you have to graph a circle in a rectangular coordinate system. Ano ba yung rectangular coordinate system? If you still can remember, ito yung my x and y axis. So you have to practice graphing a circle in that coordinate system. Under analytic geometry, you have to define what is a parabola. So after a circle, you have to define what is a parabola. Another is, again, determine the standard form of equation of a parabola. Graph the parabola in a rectangular coordinate system. Same, same with the circle kanina. Another is, another conic section that you have to study is the ellipse. Ano ba yung ellipse? So you have to determine the standard form of equation of an ellipse and graph an ellipse in a rectangular coordinate system. Still under analytic geometry, we have you have to define what is a hyperbola. So same with ellipse and circle, you have to determine the standard form of equation of the hyperbola and graph this in a rectangular coordinate system. So after learning all these conic sections, you have to recognize the equation and the important characteristics of the different types of conic sections. So for sure, there will be activities that you'll be required to compare the equation and the characteristics of these different types of conic sections. Solve situational problems involving conic sections. So hindi talaga nawawala yung ating mga word problems and for pre-calculus, you still have to solve word problems involving conic sections. And again, another is to illustrate systems of nonlinear equation. So another topic in pre-calculus is the series and mathematical induction. So you have to illustrate what is a series. Ano ba yung series? So you have to read about that in advance. So you have to differentiate a series from a sequence. Ano ba yung kaibahan ng series sa sequence? Illustrate the principle of mathematical induction. So you really have to read about principle of mathematical induction. Ano ba to? Another is... You have to prove the binomial theorem. So after reading principle of mathematical induction, you need to research about or you need to practice proving the binomial theorem. Another is to solve problems using mathematical induction and the binomial theorem. Next, another topic in pre-calculus is the trigonometry 3.1, situational problems involving circular functions. Ano kailangan gawin? You have to illustrate the unit circle and the relationship between the linear and angular measures of a central angle in a unit circle. So you start with searching what is a unit circle and the relationship between the linear and angular measures of a central angle in a unit circle. So you have to read about that. Another is you have to convert degree measure to radian measure and vice versa. So after learning about degree measure, you have to convert it to radian measure and radian measure to degree measure. You have to illustrate angles in standard position and co-terminal angles. So you need to read about co-terminal angles and standard positions as well. Illustrate the different circular functions and solve problems involving circular functions. So hindi talaga nawawala yan. 
Another is 3.2, apply appropriate trigonometric identities in solving situational problems. Ano ba yung mga trigonometric identities? So first, you have to determine whether an equation is an identity or a conditional equation. So you have to determine that. Ito talaga yung mga pinag-uusapan sa STEM eh. Next is derive the fundamental trigonometric identities. Ano ba to? Sine function, cosine function, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Another is derive trigonometric identities involving sum and a difference of angles. Next, you have to simplify trigonometric expressions and prove other trigonometric identities. So you have to read about that. And of course, hindi talaga nawawala yung word problem, so you have to work, you have to solve situational problems involving trigonometric identities. Another is you have to formulate and solve a Accurately, situational problems involving appropriate trigonometric functions. Anong dapat gawin? You have to illustrate the domain and range of the inverse trigonometric function. Ano ba yung mga inverse trigonometric functions? Next, evaluate an inverse trigonometric expression. Solve trigonometric equations. And solve situational problems involving inverse trigonometric functions and trigonometric equation. Hala! Medyo marami yung dapat yung research dito sa pre-calculus and you need to practice that one before enrolling to STEM. Next is 3.4. Formulate and solve accurately situational problems involving polar coordinate systems. Polar coordinate system. So, locate points in a polar coordinate system. So, you have to review your knowledge or read in advance what is a polar coordinate system. Another is you have to convert the coordinates of a point from rectangular to polar systems and vice versa. Another, solve situational problems involving polar coordinate systems. So, meron talaga mga word problems. So, that's it guys. Yun yung ating mga lessons or topics na pinag-uusapan sa pre-calculus. If excited na kayo mag-enroll sa STEM, you can comment that below. And if you learned from this video, please give this a like or a thumbs up and share this to your friends so that you'll also have an idea kung ano ba yung pinag-uusapan sa STEM strand ng senior high school. This has been your friends or Marky. Thank you for watching. Laban lang.